It's time for Swiss history. This week, 1939 to 1945. The Gold Rush. Last week, we looked at the Depression and how Switzerland stayed largely out of it. This week, we turned to the early 1940s, a period which some historians have described as the Second World War. September 1939, and Europe stands on the brink of peace. British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain threatens Switzerland with a plan to prevent hostilities. Herr Gerhard, who lived through it, remembers those dark days. Well, we, we just finished the extension to the hotel, ready for the massive influx of rich political refugees. When we heard the news, talk of peace, we were devastated. All our plans for the future were in ruins. It was bad for us, but it was worse for the profiteers. But good news was just around the corner for Herr Gerhard and people like him. The German army swept through Western Europe, driving all before it, and the hotel was saved. Of course, uh, things became pretty tough by about 1943. My cousin, who was a banker, came to me one night and said, I have no more room in my house for all the Nazi gold. <laughs> so I moved my whole family into the top half of the house and, and filled the other rooms with fascist treasure.